Hey kids, Hoppy Gamer, I'm back. Sorry, it's been a week. Got something on my glasses. Anyway, as the title says, um, I'm gonna give you a Star Wars review, and there will be spoilers. I'm warning you right now. Um, there will be spoilers. Not huge spoilers. I'm just gonna talk about the movie. Well, I'm just gonna talk about the movie. I'm not gonna. I don't even know what I'm gonna say. But I'm telling you right now, I'm not going into this with a script that doesn't have spoilers. If you haven't seen it, don't watch my review. You've been warned. Don't watch it. Don't watch me. Turn it off. Go away. Go. Okay. Thanks for coming back. It's been probably a week. or There's been more than a week. Um, I had to travel for work. I was in Washington, D.C. And I had planned on recording while I was there, but the... Um, the internet connection was good. It, it was good enough, but I just didn't, by the time I got out of class and had dinner and, you know, the whole thing, I just didn't, I just didn't really get into it. There was too much other stuff going on. So um, I didn't record. I did get on the sibling server a couple times and, um, <clears throat> you know, just did some minor stuff. And we're going to look at that today. Today's, today's episode is going to be my Star Wars review. Oh, my toys. I should show you my toys. My Star Wars review. And um, just like a tour of what we've done in the sibling server. If you're watching my brother Guy Rex, then you probably already know what's been going on there. Anyway, <clears throat> today is Monday the 21st, and I saw Star Wars The Force Awakens today. And let me give you some background. I'm 45 years old. So I saw Star Wars in the theater in 1977. Um, I don't know. I imagine I, my, I am the demographic for that movie. It's Disney. Anybody can enjoy it. It's making brand new generations of fans, but it was, that movie was made for the person that grew up living Star Wars. Me and my brothers just grew up living Star Wars. Had all the toys. My brother Guy Rex had more toys. Had as many as just about anybody. He had a, a pretty extensive collection for the longest time. Um, and I like what he did with it. He ended up just giving them to his kids. Awesome. Anyway, um, I can't imagine anybody enjoying and liking Star Wars more than us. Not that we're hyper fans. I've never dressed up in Star Wars gear. That's a whole nother genre. That's a whole different crowd of people. Um, I've been to Comic-Con. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not in that category, but that doesn't make me any less of a Star Wars fan. So this movie was made so that I, and when I say I, I mean me as what, what I represent Star Wars fandom. That movie was made not to make me mad. Um, J.J. Abrams and Disney did exactly what they said they were going to do in other interviews, what the crew always claimed they were doing. They were, they were paying homage and respect to the original trilogy and the way Lucas made those movies. Now, I've, I've got my criticisms of the way George Lucas writes and directs. I'm not a big, huge movie critic, but we all know that the, you know, he, I mean, okay. So if you saw the prequels, there's no way that that script and that acting, those actors aren't that bad. He, he forces a bit of, uh, I, I've never had a word for it. Um, like he constrains them purposefully. Like he doesn't want it to be this acting drama. I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but I think you know what I mean anyway, whether I'm describing it correctly or not. The way The Force Awakens was written and directed, and filmed, by the way, produced, it took everything good from the original series, the original trilogy, and, it's, and it put it out there saying, this is what made it great and this is where we're going from here. I felt that this was the perfect introduction to a new set of movies. He didn't shoot for anything new 
there's plenty new in it, but he didn't shoot for any ideas new. Um, everything was recognizable, even if you've never seen it before. It just felt from the very beginning, minus the credits. I realized the scroll and the credits, that was perfect. I mean, you had to do that. John Williams set the stage with the music and the way the thing was filmed was just absolutely perfect as a Star Wars movie. I couldn't have imagined a better way to do the first return of the Star Wars movies. Um, my only criticism, and it's not even a criticism, my brain noticed it, Say so it's not a criticism. My brain noticed how many times they paralleled the original movies. So if my brain noticed it, then it was probably a little too much. But it's not too much because I loved every bit of it. I, every every bit of when they did that stuff. Um, the one time I said, oh no, please don't, and they did, um, was the lightsaber in the snow. Okay, fine. But I knew from the very first bar scene, um, I forget that character's name, her bar. I knew from then that I was like, okay, it's, it's, um, it was intended to be, it was intended to be a wretch. Ah, that's not a retro is not the right word. It was intended to be as if it was filmed three years after Return of the Jedi. Maybe that's a good way. It was supposed to be seamless and it looked very seamless. They, they set out JJ Abrams and his team and Disney, they set out cause they've said this in interviews, um, with real props, characters in suits, very little CGI that I could notice plenty of, there was plenty, but you know, normally even the best CGI nowadays, you still see it, right? Um, I'm not talking the block, blockbuster backgrounds. That stuff has become seamless. The, the, the background, the buildings space in all these sci-fi movies, the Avenger series, um, all those, um, they've got that down to where your eyeball doesn't even notice the, the detail, the level of detail is so great that your eyeball doesn't even consider it fake anymore, which is perfect. Um, in the force awakens, you have a handful of characters that were CGI very well done. I mean, as good as any other CGI, but everything else you didn't notice, or it was real props. And I loved that. I loved the I don't know what the term is for when you have real props and the way the camera follows people through a real props scene. I'm sure there's a term for that in, in Hollywood. I loved it because that's the way the original trilogies were, trilogies were made and that lended it to making it feel like episode seven, not some new thing. It was just perfect. Now let's get to the story. Remember I warned you about spoilers. So, um, I, I, you know, I've, I've seen all the trailers. I've seen, you know, everything that's come out. I was worried about the Han Solo rumor, which if you've seen the movie, you know, is true. Um, I liked how they released next to nothing because almost, almost everything that experts said could be true about what they released in the trailers ended up being either partially true or not true at all. So I like that. I like that the scenes, how they were released in the trailers were not, were edited such as the context took you thinking something else was going on. That's the way trailers used to be. Trailers used to be short snippets, pardon me, short snippets and you didn't get storyline. There's some trailers nowadays, you guys all know, that you're watching the best parts of the movie and you know the whole storyline before you even go in. Um, this, this left plenty of imagination when you got in there, things were different than you thought they were going to be. Um, <clears throat> let's see, without letting out too much. So the, it was a very plausible episode seven storyline. The um, 30 years after Return of the Jedi, the Empire has gone away, but is regrouping as, or has regrouped as the, um, the First Order right? Is that what they're called? First Order? And the Republic, which still technically exists in its government form, um, now has the Resistance, which is the part of the Republic, if you could say it, that's fighting the First Order. The, the Republic itself isn't fighting, from what I can gather. 
um, but plenty of those people in the resistance. Luke Skywalker, after trying to train a new, um, is my camera too? What's going on here? Luke Skywalker, after after uh, attempt or after starting to train a new band of Jedi's, was attacked um, and ended up being exiled, similar to the way Yoda was exiled to Dagobah. He's off on I forget the name of the planet, um, but he's out there. The, and the storyline in the movie is, and here's where the parallels were happening. The storyline shows the plans or the the map to Luke Skywalker is hidden in the BB-8 droid, which is the parallel of R2-D2. Um, I didn't care. I loved it. I loved it. So the movie is, we got to get these plans. This droid's got them. Everybody wants them. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so that's where, you know, it starts out with um, Poe, who's, who's, who's the new hero, one of the new heroes. He's a pilot. Um, a resistance pilot who is um, got the BBA droid when the uh, first order attacks. He takes this, you know, the map to Skywalker and puts it in the droid and says, "Beat it, sucker!" Then, of course, it's a desert planet, another parallel, and the droid heads off. That's when the droid meets Ray, Ray meets Finn, and the whole thing kind of develops. Um, I love the unexpected place that Han Solo and Chewbacca came in, which was awesome because it was quick. It just kind of happened. You didn't, there was no build up. It's not like they were looking for him. Um, Ray and Finn end up stealing the Millennium Falcon, which you didn't even know was there. Love the way they edited that. They just were running out. They were going to steal this ship, um, this other ship. And <laughs> Finn says, what about that? They don't even show it. She says, that's a hunk of junk. Let's go to this one. Well, this one blows up. A TIE fighter blows it up. So they're like, I guess we're going to the hunk of junk. And they start running and they immediately show the Millennium Falcon. So there's a great spot right there where you see the Millennium Falcon in pretty rough shape, covered. You know, it's got some tarps on it. It's dirty. It's old. It's been sitting there. It hasn't been flown in a long time. They steal it. They blast out of this planet. Well, they get up in space. She's never flown off the planet ever. They're up there, you know. Now they're in some sort of stationary orbit and they're congratulating each other. They're all happy that they're alive and they get sucked in by a tractor beam into this cargo ship, Han and, Han and Chewie. Anywho, um, I'm not going to tell you the whole storyline, but I love the way they introduce Han and, Han and Chewie in there. Um, it was great. It was unexpected. Those two absolutely seamless, perfectly acted. Um, Harrison Ford's a professional. And... Um, <clears throat> I don't want to tell any more of the story. I love, I just love the way it went. I did not mind what happened to Han. Um, I mean, I don't, I didn't want it. Nobody wants it, but it brought drama to the story. It's important to the, to the character that is um, Kylo Ren. And I think this it was a perfect setup. It was, you know, it, it takes you, it, it leaves you wanting episode eight and not having much idea what's going to happen. There's 10,000. Well, I'm trying to stay away from hyperbole. There are dozens of ways the story could go from here. And everybody wants this path and this path, I'm sure. But we'll see where it goes. It makes me very excited for Got to wait 18 months. It's nothing. I've been waiting 32 years for this one. Got to wait 18 months. We've got Rogue One, I believe it's called, right? The spinoff. You know, there's spinoff movies coming. Rogue One comes out next year. So Star Wars is back. I think uh, I think it was it was very well done. There was plenty of just just plenty of parts in it that took a fan like me, hooked me in, and said. We're not going to destroy the series. We're not going to make the series something it's not. Boom, done. That's my two thumbs up. I put this on Facebook. Two thumbs up, um, four stars, 100% Rotten Tomatoes. Whatever you want to call it, I don't think anything could have been done better. So my hat's off to J.J. Abrams. People like me appreciate what you did. Um, and I hope Disney makes a boatload of money because this is all about capitalism anyway. Star Wars invented franchising. You can buy uh, merchandising, sorry. You can buy Star Wars anything everywhere right now. And Star Wars is the only thing that doesn't bother me when that happens since George Lucas invented it. He was the first person to do this kind of merchandising. 
and it's changed retail, as you know. And um, anyway, I'm not going to get into my toy because I've been talking for 15 minutes already. I am going to, however, move on. I'm not going to talk about the Cowboys. Not going to do it. I'm going to move on, and we're going to go into the sibling server. Don't know if my brothers are in there. Um, and we're just going to take a look and see what's happening. I haven't been there in two or three days. Pardon me. <clears throat> yeah, two or three days. And I know my brothers have been hard at work. And I don't even, I didn't even go back and look at my sibling server episode four. So you know, so I know where I left you guys. Um, so you'll have to forgive me if, if, um, I'm just going to show you around and I'll probably repeat myself if you're going from four to episode four to episode five, like back to back and okay, well, let's try this again. I may have to go online. Oh no, it worked. I was wondering if I was going to go in there and have to restart. Um, it's downloading, I promise. I hear music. So we're just waiting. <clears throat> um, so like I said, I didn't go back, so I may repeat myself. Okay, so, oh, well, let me get out of here real quick. So you guys don't see this. Oh, sorry. I don't know who that phone call is from. And I'm sure you heard my ringtone. I am sorry because you're seeing something that I haven't even. Okay, let me get out of here. Because I've left you guys and you haven't seen any of that. Whoa. Okay, so the server's doing some fun things right now. I know you just saw that. Let's try this again. Okay. When I left you guys. Why is this connection on my computer so slow tonight? I know it's not the server because my brother's got an awesome quick connection. Okay, so you've seen the restaurant and bar. I know you have. Um, let's see. Um, I made a kitchen, and I don't know if I showed you guys the kitchen. So here's my kitchen below because it makes sense to have a kitchen. Sinks, books, table. Okay, I apologize for what's going on right now. Let me see something. I'm connected to my five gig connection. So I don't know what the deal is. At least you're seeing what I'm seeing. So you'll, you know, anyway, I might have to go in and restart the server. Anyway, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, that was the kitchen. If I have to restart it, I'm going to have to pause the thing. Okay, so I don't know what that button does, but my brother put there for a reason, I'm sure. So that's my kitchen. Nothing special, but I, I needed a kitchen because it's a restaurant. My brother has been busy building the windmill. Um, I haven't been down there yet. Okay. Let me show you what I've done, and then we'll together look at what my brother's done. Okay, I built around this way. I figured the restaurant has a uh, private residence for the owner, so this is it. This is the private residence I built. Using the style of building that my brother's made in the village um, to make it match. Um, so that most of this is his design. Um, we haven't messed with each other much lately, but couple of beds. Um, whoops. I've got a, um, some books down here, some seating, um, around the corner in the back of the house is a fire pit. Cause I like fire pits. And then if you take out the back way, so this is like the back entrance. Um, this is not finished. This is uh, just what it is. It's stairs down that lead down to here now you notice these stairs do not go over to here yet it's because i built my school 
Um, and the roof was getting in the way. So I need to um, come back and finish this, which you, obviously I have not done. Um, so we'll just leave it like that for now. I will see what I'm going to do about it because the stairs were in the way. Anyway, you get it. So the stairs come down here, um, and I built a schoolhouse. Just some desks and a table over here for maybe a teacher, fireplace to keep it warm, and some books. Schoolhouse. And then around the back of the schoolhouse is a small open area that's meant to be... Oh my goodness. Someone's been busy. I've not seen that. This is a little play area. We have got to check this out together. Cows. Lots of cows. A huge barn. So cool. I feel like I'm at the fair. Wow. Huge. Um, a ladder. And what's in here? Chickens. Chickens. Lots of chickens. So cool. Okay, Richie, if you're watching, or Josh, whoever made this. It looks like Richie's work. No offense if it's yours, Josh. That looks like Richie's work. Um, and this is not done, whatever this is. Wow. And boy, did he spawn some cows. Okay, so that's new, which means we're heading this way. Cool. Um, looks like we're building a grain silo or something, or just a tower over here. Don't know. Okay, so what what I started on my last time in here um, was, you know, this bridge, this long bridge. What's going on? This, yeah, the server's bad tonight. It's just slow. This, well, let's take you down the middle of it. So this, here's the bridge. Long ass bridge. I don't have all the pillars. I said the A word. I'm sorry if there's kids watching. Okay. This is not good. Whatever's going on here, it's making me upset. Why is it redrawing? Why is it doing this? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I don't understand, uh, you know, the, the way the way Minecraft servers talk to um, to remote. Oh man, it's bad though. It's really bad right now. This could be my connection. It's possible. Um, I haven't been home for a week. I might need to restart my route or something. I hope this builds as I go off here. So I built this super long bridge and it's not, it's not building. Um, and I started building pillars, and that's where I had stopped. Um, well, I apologize for this, everybody. Let's do this. Let's disconnect. Um, I'm probably going to pause right here, and then um, I can't pause. I can stop and restart, and I'll have two clips. So I'm going to stop, go restart the server, come right back. Stand by. Thanks for waiting. You waited a whole second. Um, I restarted the server. So let me get back in there. Okay, well, that phone number, I didn't get voicemail, so that's good. Um, so anyway, let's. I hope this just starts running better. I can give you the rest of the tour because then I'm going to cut this off. It's Christmas week and um, I don't want to sit on my computer all night long. But I don't know. Excuse me. Hmm. This is interesting. It's very interesting. I got some stuff going on. Uh, 
uh, much better so far. Okay, so this is where I left off. We were heading down the bridge. It was nighttime. Anybody online right now? Hey, okay. Mr. G. Let me tell him real quick. Tell him I was filming. Still am. And it was loading like poop. So... Anyway, I don't know where he's at. He he might have got a message um, that I was restarting the server. So anyway, if he replies, I'll let you know what he says. So I was heading down this bridge. And he says, let me re... I'll say yes. Didn't know you were on. I was filming. Okay. All right, so we got all the messages now. So anyway, um, I built this long bridge, and I wanted to. I decided I was going to build a hotel in the mountain. So here's my lobby. Yeah, Ram was like at 55. Didn't know you're on. Okay, so here's my lobby, and here's my staff. They seem to just not do what they're told, and all I have is some elevators and a horse. Zorse. That's Zorse the horse. Okay, so I will leave Zorse the horse in there. Um, so this is the beginnings. That's where I stopped. So I didn't, because this was going to be, off of here was going to be like a, a lounge um, in there. Okay, so that's where I am. You can see down here. Some very basic columns that I'm building. Got a couple on this end, a couple on that end. Um, so let's go see what everybody's been doing. This is new down here. What is this? Is this what is this? What is this? What is this like a sawmill? It's like a mill. Oh crap! I didn't mean to do that. What are those called? Is that called a lever? What is that called? Is that what that is? Okay, good. I, I was able to put it back. So this is like a sawmill. Pretty cool. Even if it's not working, it's cool. Good thinking. All right, this is starting to be a pretty good project, guys. Uh, Village Pub goes here. Heck yes. Not that I enjoy a good drink once in a while. Oh, look at David. Looks like, hey, look, I chopped down some trees. Very cool. I like it. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Okay. Um, I don't know if I've shown you this. This is another one my brother Guy Rex made. Um, it, it doesn't look finished. Upstairs is just kind of empty. Just another building. But the big project that uh, Mr. G has been working on is the castle. He redid his wall here, um, as you can see. Uh, am I recording? I am. Good thing. <laughs> he redid his wall, and then he has started work on the main part of the castle. So this is what he's doing. Say hey, dude. Say hey. Watch. Told him to say hi. Let's see if he says hi. He's busy. <laughs> okay. It's it's still it's still rough. Okay, so he's got a cat. He's tamed a cat. I don't know how to tame an ocelot to get a cat. I don't know how to do it. But he has done a lot of work in here. It's looking nice. <laughs> okay, he said, hey there. Looking good. Working on the dining hall. 
I'm telling you, his movements are very slow on my end. But anyway, so let me jump get out of here. It's probably me. Could be me. Wife and daughter could be on Netflix. So here's a big dining table. Big dining area. The dining hall, as he called it. This is the chapel he built over here. All right. Looking pretty sweet. Not sure what this area is. That's just an open column. But that's an ambitious project right there. He's got this tower done. Um, which is mostly empty. As you can see. But each floor looks like this. Um, I haven't been down here to see... What's going on here? Okay, so this is a, these are the original houses that Guy Rex built. Looking very nice. Three stories. Here's the windmill. Um, man, these guys have been busy. I got to get back into this. Another little house over here. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. You guys have been busy. If you guys are watching my video, I'll get back in the game here. I'm off all week. I like this. I don't know what it is. It's a little house. This does not look like a Gyrex build. This is different. This is either um, Mr. G or Mel. I don't know if Mel is still in here once in a while. This is Mel's little farm. Oh, cool. You got a cat back. Good. I want one, Mel. All right. Yeah, we've done a lot. I hope you guys are enjoying um, following us along. Um, if you're following Guy Rex, you may have seen all this. But it's looking good. I, I think I'm going to start um, after I finish the bridge. The um, By the way, this over here is like a little farmer's market. By the way, that was a little farmer's market. Um, after I finish the bridge. See, there it goes again. Like. Ram's getting all jacked up. So I'm going to head out. After I do that, I'm going to finish the hotel. And then I'm going to start on some other village kind of stuff. I keep starting this big, these big projects. And um, I think we need to spread the neighborhood. So I'm going to sign off. Probably a good 25-minute video by the time I'm done. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas If um, if I don't talk to you before then. And I will see you guys. Um, I'll film again this week, probably. Probably only get a couple in this week, being the holiday week. Okay? So, anyway, take care. Go see Star Wars if you haven't. But if you've watched my video and haven't seen it, that means you didn't heed my warning about spoilers. All right. Happy Gamer. I'm out.